My name is Craig Wilby. Uh, I was born in Detroit, Michigan, uh, December 26, 1969. My story is a little bit different because my real mother had passed when I was an infant. I had other family members who took care of me like my mother. Both of my aunties used to always show me mad, uh, me and my sister mad love. I think her leaving caused me, you know, some heartache and pain along with my grandmother dying the same year that I, of my incarceration. I wasn't showered with gifts, but I was showered with a lot of love and affection. And I think that's most important. I was 17 at the time of my offense. I was, uh, I think, two weeks away from my 18th birthday. And uh, a guy that I used to go to school with came by the house and uh, we decided to go along with him. I was told to go in the home or asked to go in the home just to open up a safe. And when I, when, I, when I went in the home, there wasn't a safe. A fight ensued and someone lost their life. I took full responsibility in the robbery part, but tried to um, say that I wasn't part of the murder. Not understanding that in Michigan felony murder, if you're part of the robbery, you're part of the murder. At 17, you don't even understand what that is. It's unfair for a child because we don't know the things that adults know. Those laws weren't written for us. They were written for adults. I spent 31 and a half years incarcerated. I've been in prison for so long, you, you know, you really get a good uh, concept of uh, what, what is truth and what is, you know, justice and what is freedom and what is not freedom and what is liberty, what are laws and what are not laws, what is society dictates and what, what's going on out here. So I've always had hope because I've always had someone extending their hand to me saying, Craig, look, you know, you didn't, you know, you're not this type of person that they got you labeled as. You're going to see, you know, you, we're going to try to do everything in our power to get you out. You're the only one that know when a person meets you that you've been locked up. You're the only one. A person doesn't know that you've been locked up until you tell them, you know. You have to come out in a stage in your life to where you have to give back. Part of you wants to give back. So I started a nonprofit called FORCE, and uh, it's, it's an acronym for Friends of Returning Citizens. We have spent so much time in prison that a lot of our youth has been stolen. We are, we're in our 50s, you know, <laughs> the lifespan of a black man <laughs> is only like 70, so we might have like 20 years left out here or whatever, you know, so. We gotta do, you know, we gotta make our mark and do something positive. Like I said, I've only been home three years. Every day has been a blessing and it's beautiful to be free.